Hey guys, welcome back to Netty Garage. In today's video, we have a beautiful 550i that's honestly in pretty mid condition body wise. This car had a blown engine. Not really surprised. These N63 motors are absolutely garbage. We had one in our 7 series. The body was so straight. And uh, yeah, we had a hole in the block and a hole in the transmission. So comes to show you guys how reliable these cars are. Do not get any BMW with that engine. I've only seen them fail like left and right. Yeah, they have a lot of power, but the amount of like trouble they give you and the maintenance are super hard to do on these cars. It's just not worth it. That's what happened with the previous owner of this car. We ended up picking up this car for only 1600 bucks locally, which I'm super happy about because we actually need most of the parts to fix another car, which we're gonna be fixing later on in this video. So you guys are gonna be seeing us fully disassemble this 550i, fixing an F10 that we have in the back using these parts, and at the same time, parting out the rest of this um, and showing you guys the numbers you're gonna be making throughout this entire part out. Now this isn't your normal part out because this car actually has a lot of modifications. When I mean a lot, I mean a lot for 1600 bucks. So the cool thing about it, this car came with a MagnaFlow axle back exhaust here. So we got this bad boy, that was kind of cool to see. I believe this also fits the uh, 535s, which more likely we're probably gonna sell to an owner with a 535. So that is pretty cool. Um, another modification, obviously, we got the carbon fiber spoiler. Uh, I think this diffuser is upgraded. Not a huge fan though, but uh, yeah, still an upgraded diffuser right there. Some more modifications that we have for this car. We actually added the whole M Sport kit. This car by factory was not an M Sport. It had shadow line package, um, but it was not a factory M Sport. So we do have the whole body kit there as well. Coming around to the interior of the car, this thing does have black interior, sports seats, um, paddle shifters, sports steering wheel, not M Sport. Unfortunately, I think they're supposed to have a badge right here, unless the M Sports of the pre-LCIs did not have them. We'll do a little bit of research on that, but sport paddle shifting steering wheel, pretty nice. Now it comes to the modifications, uh, this car, according to the previous owner, has equipped it with the BAV audio sound system. So if that actually is there, that's gonna be pretty awesome. That's a very expensive sound system. So that's gonna be pretty cool. And not to mention, this car is sitting pretty low considering there's no engine and transmission in this car. It's one of the reasons why we got it so cheap. And that's because there's coilovers, supposedly coilovers. We'll find out. Um, he also said there's coilovers on this car. And I believe there's other few little other little modifications on this thing we'll be showing you guys throughout this video. But that is super exciting because again, we've been trying to get that RF10 in the back to be running and driving. We just couldn't find a good donor car. And here she is. So this is the car we're actually talking about, guys. This is only a 528, not a 535, nothing really fancy, but it's a reliable 528. This is the only year that it came with the N52 engine. Uh, it's a different looking N52 engine, but it's an N52. None of that twin turbo, four cylinders, timing chain issues. This is the most reliable BMW engine that I know of. So that is super sick that the F chassis, the only F chassis actually has this motor. And actually the reason we're fixing it, as you guys can see, hood's damaged and a headlight bracket, the headlight, the bumper, some plastics over here, but that's about it. Like that's pretty much it. I think if we just take the parts off the other car, we can get this thing whipped up away in less than a day, which would be pretty cool. I could be rhyming all this yeah. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, <right. laughs> a I'm not a rapper. <laughs> so anyways, this car is a running and driving car. There is a few little issues around it here and there, but for the most part, this is where the damage is. So hopefully we're gonna be trying to knock this out later on in this video. Um, but for now, we are gonna get back to that car, fully disassemble it because we just need to get that car out of here to make space for this bad boy. Bro, these KWs? Bro, these are KWs. Bro, these are KWs. No, bro, it is, dude. What the frick? Bro, KW guys. suspension? KW coilovers, bro, guys. We basically bought coilovers. Bro, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it in there. But that literally says KW in there, guys. Right Jonathan, there, you can kind Jonathan of see originally it. looked in there and he was like, bro, it's just springs. And it looked like, like just oh, springs to be honest. Because the dude said coilovers. And these are KWs. The guy was looking at me like, what are you talking about? I don't know. What it's you... one of the best ones. Bro, they're probably like 1500 bucks. Brand new. So probably used, we probably like maybe half, like maybe 800 bucks. 800. 800. Right there, bro. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Fist bump, bro. guys. <laughs> dude, that's Heck freaking yeah, crazy. That's what I'm I was like, it's yellow, and then there's purple. Wait a second. I was like, that looks like KWs. I just asked him. I was like, it's not Ebay's, right? He's like, no, nah, it's not Ebay's. I forgot what brand it was, but it wasn't Ebay's. And I was like, well, as long as it's better than Ebay's, I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, KWs, bro. Can't complain. Dang. Yeah, dude. That's wild. This is the Harman Kardon amp. Oh. 
This bad boy, I think we just sold one for like 600. 600? This is the Harman Kardon amp for the F chassis, so. <laughs> what the heck? I'm assuming serious? it works because the thing is, why did you upgrade the speakers? Is my question, you know? That's kind of weird. So we have Bave speakers. Bob sound system speakers. Bob, with, Bob sound system. With and a Harman Kardon, Kardon amp. amp. No water damage too, so. I don't know, man. I mean, there's even a camera module back here. This is like Christmas, bro. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm Christmas pretty excited. Christmas. Let's go ahead and get everything else off. <laughs> So guys, we got the KWs off of this car. It's kind of crazy to look at them because it doesn't look like your typical set of coilovers. The rears look like the, actually, I, don't, I almost mistaken these. These are the rears. Yeah, those are the rears. These are the rears, these are the fronts. They actually all have top hats on them, which is kind of strange because normally it's just a shock with a spring on the side and that's how you install it in the rear. I actually had to remove the, the subwoofer box on the back, not the subwoofer, like the speaker box on the back of where the seats are to get these bolts out. Long story short, I'm just crazy happy to see these on the car. We have a full set of KWs on this car, fully adjustable. Um, do you know if these are V? These are V1s. V1s, so these are gonna be cleaned up and listed up for sale here in a second. Um, what we also found on this car, what I was telling you guys earlier, is the Bav Sound speakers. Check that out, guys. It only has one subwoofer, which is kind of weird, but check these bad boys out. That mm. looks crazy, boys. And then we also have the little tweeter as well. It's super nice. So again, these little things, didn't expect it, but we got it. Super happy about it. So at this point, honestly, guys, we got the coilovers off the car. We got most of the things we need off of this car. So the prices we're actually gonna be giving you guys, it's gonna be pretty much excluding most of the panels, only the bumpers and the M Sport kit. We're gonna be keeping it because you know, everyone wants that, you know what I'm saying? And this section right over here is all the parts we need to fix our F10 in the back. We need a new clock spring because ours is making some weird sounds. Um, we have a pair of headlights because ours, uh, one of them is damaged, the other one is just, it's a different one. So we're gonna go ahead and just upgrade them to these ones and then sell the single one on that car. And then we finally have all the headlight brackets, plastics and everything to reassemble that front end. And we also have a hood from this car we're gonna be using. So we just need a front bumper. I'm hoping to fully assemble that car in this video. So uh, stay tuned for that. So guys, the F10, well this F10 in particular, is officially done. We got everything we pretty much needed off this car. We still need to remove this guy. I keep forgetting to remove it. It's coming off, don't worry. Um, so everything else, honestly, we junked everything else inside the car. This thing's ready to get pulled out of here, so we'll do that hopefully in a little bit. But before we actually junk that, I wanna go ahead and get our other F10 in here. So anything else we gotta junk, we'll throw it on that, and then we can fix that one. It hasn't started in a few months now. Uh, I'm hoping it'll start just based off of a jump pack, but I guess we'll figure that out in a little bit and uh, drive that bad boy in here. There we go guys, started up, not too shabby. Nice whip bro. What can I say, I'm balling bro. Damn, with the new. 5 Series? Brand new. <laughs> oh, I remember when these cars came out, this was the baller mobile boat. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that is a good sounding N52. Usually the N20 would be a ticking time bomb right now, but this thing, solid car guys. I'm not gonna lie, it's not really looking too solid, but we'll get that stuff sorted out right now. So as you guys can see, this is where all the impact hit. The hood as well is completely damaged. Thankfully, it's really not that bad. The biggest uh, concern area is right over here. We're gonna have to pull this back out before reassembling anything. It's honestly tweaked maybe half an inch back or maybe an inch back. So that is not that big of a deal. Again, hopefully we'll be able to pull that thing forward. But other than that, I think we have everything else to reassemble this front end. These headlights, I believe are the older style headlights. We have two brand new headlights, newer styling, from this F10, this is the 550i, I think it was like a fully loaded uh, Xenon one. So we're gonna go ahead and retrofit that onto this car uh, because we have both of them and it looks nicer anyway, so why not? But at this point, let's just go ahead, disassemble the whole front end, get this whole thing looking a whole lot better. So guys, we went ahead and got everything off the front of this car. We finally got the wrecked hood. We got all the wrecked plastics. Thankfully, these beams 
are perfect. The crash bar was perfect. This section right over here that allows the car to mechanically drive is perfect. So literally everything that's wrong with this car is just physically. Oh, yes, sir. Satisfying. Satisfying. It's actually working. All right, I guess so we got the upper support bars uh, installed now. Currently we're installing the headlight brackets as well as the latches. So headlight brackets are now pretty much on, which is good. Slowly, slowly assembling everything, getting some nice progress done. Turns out we might end up having to buy an actual headlight, a halogen headlight to uh, match because we just tested the LED ones. Are the LEDs or are the Xenons? Uh, I think there's, they're, I think they're just adaptive. They're just adaptive headlights. Yeah. So we tested them and they did not work with the car. So it does turn out we're gonna have to buy a separate headlight. So uh, that is a little bit unfortunate, but uh, we will still be able to sell the other headlights. So that is good. But yeah, slowly getting it pieced together. We're gonna keep updating you guys here and there, but it is looking pretty good. Looks really good, honestly, guys. Uh, we got all the crash bars on now. We got all the brackets. We got all the, pretty much most of the front end done at this point. We're gonna go ahead, put back the halogen headlight. So we are gonna buy a driver side halogen headlight to match. Uh, so this is the halogen one that came originally on this car. So we are using the original headlight. Might need to get that little bit polished up too. Yeah, it needs a polish for sure. We'll, we'll yeah. get the whole car polished up. The whole car is gonna get polished up once we paint the hood and uh, possibly, hopefully gonna get a paint match to bumper so we don't have to worry about painting. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna install this. We're gonna install some, uh, the trim pieces up here. So this side will all be done. And then all we will need is this driver's side headlight, installing the plastics, bumper, hood, and then we can go take it to paint. So pretty simple. And a couple weeks later, guys, we are finally back with the F10 and everything else we need to actually get this thing back on the road. You guys saw in the last, not the last video, in the last segment of this video, you guys saw that the headlight that we got for this car, the LCIs were not gonna fit this car. So we got a pre-LCI headlight right over here. We got a front radiator support. Unfortunately, we do have the complete radiator support, but not for the air duct grills. And because of that, there's actually no place to actually mount uh, the bumper too. So we really need this upper section so we can actually mount the bumper to it. Uh, so we had to order the whole thing, unfortunately, brand new. Other than that as well, we do have a few little plastic trim pieces, some grills, and uh, that's pretty much it. I think we get this whole front end back together. We're not gonna fully assemble the bumper just yet, mainly because we do need to get it painted, and what's the point of fully assembling it if we have to take it right back apart tomorrow? So that being said, let's go ahead and get this bumper right back off and start working on getting this headlight in and test fitting on this bumper. And with the power of editing, this bumper is gonna come off just like that. <laughs> that was pretty cool, huh? That was pretty cool. <laughs> so this upper section that I was just talking about, guys, uh, we're just probably gonna replace just the upper section. If it all actually bolts up straight into here, I don't think I'm gonna replace the entire thing because um, this is OEM, this is aftermarket, and if I can use as little as aftermarket parts as possible, that would be ideal. So let's go ahead and get that out, test fit it on, and hopefully that will fit in like a glove. So looking at this section right over here, as you guys can see, this actually moves. Depending on the car model that you have, some of them come with a sensor, which pretty much control the vents from opening and closing, depending on, I don't know, what if the computers tell for it to turn on or not. But in this case, this 528 does not have that fancy feature. So we're just gonna go ahead and install it just like this with the air vents open, and uh, there's no connector, there's no sensor to connect anyways. Yeah, at this point, let me just go ahead and remove this upper section and transfer this bad boy over. We are good. The nice thing also, uh, this headlight, one of the reasons we bought it is because it came with the connector right on it. Um, ours, if you guys look over there, uh, we actually have everything else over here. So we're just actually gonna go transfer the connector, the housing onto this one, uh, clean this out to make sure no corrosion happens with the wiring, and then just get it all connected. This is like, this pigtail right here, people are asking like 30, 40 bucks for, which is crazy. BMW wants like 50 bucks for this. So long story short, the fact that this came with our headlight, not to mention we got it for a killer deal, pretty happy with that. That is a nice pigtail. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, buddy. Um, actually, before we actually go in and install this, uh, I don't think, the fender has a little bit of a ding right over here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop it out as much as I can before we actually take it to the body shop, just so the headlight will fit in properly and hopefully you don't have to remove the fender. So let's go ahead and just pop out this ding as much as we can and then uh, solve this bad one. Let's 
give it a shot. Turn it on, see if it works. Let's close this real quick. Not too shabby, to be honest. Now we just gotta test the headlight, guys. Make sure it actually works. Ah, okay, they're on. Yeah, they look exactly the same. Yeah, 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 turn signal, works. Other side, works. Alrighty guys, we got brand new headlights. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> brand new OEM used headlights. OEM headlights all working, that was a good deal. It really was. Came with the connector, the headlight. Super happy you caught that. We got the brand new grills up in here as well. So at this point to complete the front end, we can go ahead and bolt on the bumper. We're just not gonna put all the grills and other stuff. Like as you can see on this bumper over here, the bumper itself, we have fog lights on the sides you need to connect. Uh, there's like three grill pieces up here. Two grills up here, we actually got brand new grills for that. The caps over here, actually we can slap those on. We just paint them while it's on the car, no big deal. And then we might even plastic weld uh, the side markers on there. See, oh dang, I didn't even see that. I don't know. There's really a crack on it. What the heck? <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that. Okay, well now we have a crack on a bumper. But I mean, to be honest, they're gonna go ahead. They're gonna go ahead and uh, put in the PDCs, uh, bondo that. So I'll probably have them just bondo this up, repaint it all. Not a big deal. This car doesn't have PDC, so. Alright guys, so we got the bumper on there. It's not absolutely perfect just yet, but it doesn't matter because once we get everything painted, we're gonna start reassembling everything. I don't know if you guys also know for this hood right over here, the hood we ended up picking up, um, it had a Bondo crack right over here. This was the only, like, it was on the donor car. It was the only, like, technically hood that's reasonable for a car like this because all the other hoods are, like, half the price you bought the car for. So yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous just for a hood. So we just decided, you know what? We got this off a donor car. We'll get this repaired. We're working for this car. Now that we got that situated, we're gonna go ahead and put in all the plastics now. The engine bay is gonna be almost done right here. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and just start working on the interior. So a couple things that are gonna go ahead and knock out in the interior is the clock spring. If you guys actually turn the steering wheel, I don't know if you guys can hear that. But basically, the ribbon is snapped behind it, so it's making a bunch of weird sounds. We need to take off the airbag, take off the steering wheel, replace the clock spring. Next up is right over here in this air vent. We gotta go ahead and fix this air vent, replace it, because that is absolutely horrendous. And the last thing for the driver as well is this section right over here. It's very common that it gets very sticky and disgusting. I literally just grab it from the window because I do not want to grab it from there. So, three things to knock out, uh, three new parts. Let's get to it. So we finished the interior of the car. We went ahead and fixed this little door handle thing. Unfortunately, there's even different door handles. So I don't know if you guys saw that there's a little cap missing. Not a big deal. There's so many things in the 5 Series we are unfamiliar with. We honestly, we built so many 3 Series and M cars, but we're just not used to the 5, 6, and 7 Series because we don't really deal with these cars. Uh, clock spring uh, is replaced, and then the, also the center air vents is replaced. This car literally is a running and driving car. We can take it down the road now, run and drive it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go get it painted as of right now. Once we get it painted, we're gonna have it polished and then detailed. Um, so yeah, I think there's nothing else better to do than to go out and get this thing painted. Alrighty guys, so we are back. It has been about a week and a half, two weeks maybe since we last talked with you guys. We went ahead, uh, reassembled everything, sent it off to the paint shop, and we just picked it up yesterday from the paint shop. We didn't really get much footage yesterday of us actually picking it up, but let me go ahead and show you guys what the paint looks like. So as you guys remember, the hood and the bumper were different colors. We went ahead, got some work done on the hood, and uh, they repainted it. Uh, same thing with the bumper on that other side. There was a little bit of damage. They went ahead, bonded that, and uh, repainted everything. So now all we really have to do is reassemble this front bumper with all of these little trim pieces and grills. As well as that, we got to uh, detail the interior. It is pretty dirty up in here. There's a lot of dirt, especially the carpets. I don't know if you guys can see these carpets right here. These are kind of filthy, so we're gonna go ahead, detail this thing. This whole center console area is just filthy. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead, detail this thing. I'll get a little bit of b-roll for you guys show you guys what it looks like after uh, so here is the before and then the after All 
All right, guys, I went ahead and just finished detailing the car. It is looking a lot better. There's a lot of dirt on the whole interior, pretty much, on the seats and everything. So I cleaned up the seats. I went ahead and cleaned the carpet. I got these black floor mats. I cleaned these up really nice. Cleaned up the dashboard. All the door panels are looking really clean. So the whole interior is now clean and good to go. So now pretty much the last thing we got to do is put on the bumper stuff. So we're going to go ahead and do that uh, pretty much right now. So let's go ahead and jump right into that. All right, guys, so we went ahead and installed the grills. So we got the lower grills on and the upper grills on. So we went ahead and reused the fog lights, the OEM lower grills, and then we got these nice gloss black grills. So it is looking really good in the front end. It's pretty much complete. We do need the BMW emblem right over here. So we're gonna go ahead, grab that, install that. Uh, but everything else is looking good. We got the car nice and detailed now. If you guys check this out, it is looking really, really clean. Very happy with the progress that we are getting done on this car, guys. Uh, like we said, this is a quick little flip. Anyway, let's go ahead and install that BMW emblem. I guess go ahead and finish up everything else that we need to do on this thing. So let's go ahead and jump right into that. Guys, we have the F10 just chilling right here, fully paint matched, fully assembled, fully put together, looking absolutely amazing. This thing, honestly, we've been driving around just running our errands with it. It's been perfect just because it is a N52 F10. You get the luxury of an F chassis, but then you also get the reliability of an E chassis non-turbo. So this is honestly the perfect daily driver. And we're only seeing, I think we listed this for what, like five grand? 5,500. 5,500, I mean, realistically, for you guys that are watching the video, we'll probably take five grand. So for $5,000, that is a whole lot of car. It only has 140,000 miles drive straight. We literally drove it from the auction when we first got it. It was literally just purely cosmetic, has zero lights on the dashboard. Car is honestly immaculate. And speaking of immaculate, pop in the trunk. Ch oh yeah, so uh, we got brand new tags on here. Good for a whole year from today. So, you know, no registration needed. It's already, you know, it's been counted for. Uh, but this is the coolest part. Right over here, this is something we've never seen in any car that we've ever rebuilt and we've never seen on any car that we've ever sold. So, that is crazy. That's a that lot is, of maintenance. <laughs> that is a lot of maintenance. We went some, through some of these. Some of these are like $2,000 ticket items. I don't even know what you need to spend $2,000 on a car like this, but I guess uh, that's about 150 right there. Neat. There's so many. I mean, this one, I'm trying another 150 right here. This is 647. So what is that? Basic brake job. So this guy did everything at the shop. I think in total it was like $10,000 in maintenance that was done on this car. So we have it with the car. It's literally complete with absolutely everything. So like this bad boy right over here, it's kind of nice to see. This, this little stuff's like satisfying, you know? So we got all that stuff. The interior, now because it's beige, it can't be perfect. Check it out. I think we did a pretty good job, you know, putting it all together. Now it is the beige interior, which honestly every imperfection shows. Like this little tear right here, if it was black, it wouldn't be as noticeable, but, um, and also the seatbelt, like look how bad the seatbelt is. A little dirty. You know what's crazy? We actually went to go buy two other seatbelts on this street and both of them look like that. So the driver one. So I, I, I think you literally have to just get a new seatbelt if you want it to look brand new. I think beige just gets a whole lot dirtier. Our E90 as well as beige interior, we tried cleaning that thing. It's just so hard to keep beige clean. Anyways, I'm trying to promote this thing right now, but I'm also trying to be honest with y'all. So beige is super hard to clean, but for the most part, everything works. Everything looks super good. We fixed every single fault with this car. It drives amazing. It's a great daily driver. Again, $5,000 for an F chassis with an E chassis engine. You can't really lose. This is the only year too that they actually offered an N52 and an F chassis, which is kind of crazy. The car is officially done. We are happy that it's officially complete. We've been trying to get some cars moving just because business has been kind of slow. Just trying to be transparent with you guys in terms of like engines, transmissions, you know, the holidays. No one's trying to do an engine swap when it's snowing in front, you know, just kind of makes sense, but you should. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, that being said, um, yeah, we're, we're finally ready to hopefully start selling some cars to make up for uh, some of our losses the last couple of months. But uh, yeah, this car is ready, um, so it's up for sale. So we're gonna be listing up here pretty soon. We actually, we didn't even make a video on this, did we? We did not, so we can so talk about it a little bit. We can actually talk about this a little bit as well. So this is an E90 that we actually got from auction. It's a slick top as well. It's actually white on beige, same exact spec, N52 as well. We already got this thing, I think both 142,000 miles, right? Dude, 
actually are exactly like 80 miles off. <laughs> like one has 80 miles more. I think it, the F10 has 80 miles more than this. Yeah, so they're both literally 140,000 miles, both white, both have beige interior, <laughs> both immediately, both the same engine actually. Same M52. engine. Oh, so, that's true. <laughs> uh, the paint on this one is not as good, unfortunately, but they both have registration up to date as well. Wow, we put some black powder coated wheels, some pretty good, decent tires on here. Did a valve cover gasket on this one. We did a few other maintenance things. Zero lights on the dashboard, runs and drives great. New wipers topped off all the fluids. This bad boy is gonna be listed up for, I think, what, like 3,500 3, bucks? So really, really, really cheap for an E90 LCI. Again, we're just trying to get things moving. It's trying to pay some bills, but at the same time, give you guys some good deals, so. Complete rebuild, so. so it's not too shabby, not too shabby. Anywho, how's life, Johnny? Life's good. It's not bad, honestly, like, God bless, bro. Life is really good. Life is good, bro. Got the M3, the Tesla, Tesla, our shop. Life is good, you know what I mean? Honestly, bro, we're blessed, bro. We're blessed. And you guys are blessed. Hope you, I hope we see you guys in the next one.